Wow, Jim just can't catch a break. It is raining again. I cannot believe how wet this fall is. Well, wifey has more chores for us to do. Let's get to it. So, basically, the wife has been on my case she wants this uh she we have had a contract to build a new house or a new rancher style house so that is the goal here uh i need to clear out all this area so i'm not much of a chick ch chicken grower so i'm gonna clear this out uh clear the garage out clear everything and I got to move Buck. Poor Buck. That is the first thing on my to-do list is move Buck's kennel to just uh, I'm gonna move it out of the way so I don't accidentally bodoze that too. Ooh, I left the door open. Shut that. But wifey is uh, basically moving all the furniture and everything. That should be nice and quick. Uh, I'm gonna have to move all this stuff over. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get the loader put on again. Start this thing up. So, man's best friend is the most important thing. And then it comes to wifey. I mean, uh, the other way around. But, uh, I want to make sure Buck is nice and comfortable before we start, uh, making a bunch of racket scare them away then I have to go looking for them that's never a fun experience I'm gonna use this uh, bucket here to move his house out of the way and stay back buck okay don't get too close stay back what are you doing buck stay out of here buck Get out from underneath the tractor. Dang, Buck. Alright, let's move this. Alright, we temporarily put his kennel right there. I know, Buck. I'm sorry, buddy. You have to uh, go through this wet, tall grass. I need to mow this stuff. About knocked over that tree. So... Now I need to move, oh man, I gotta move all this wood to another location. That's not gonna be fun. So I'm gonna have to move all these odds and ends. And, uh, oh, I gotta move the vehicles. But before I could do too much of that, so, uh, I, uh, recently, uh, had some issues with my Wilson uh, trailer so I brought it into the garage and uh, basically when I brought it in there I found a nice truck so I'm gonna basically be trading in my old Peterbilt so uh, good running truck I just uh, I just kinda had an impulse buy so the deal was to uh, trade this thing in for the other one. So I'm gonna take this in here quick, in there quickly, and then uh, go pick up my uh, new truck. The last drive of our beautiful Peterbilt. So only had it one season, but I don't know. It seems like I am always wheeling and dealing and trading and getting something different. I don't know why, but just the way I am so I ended up purchasing a brand new Kenworth flat top uh, I think this is a 74 year so this has recently been restored so I don't know I just uh, I just saw it and I just had to have it one of them things where this thing is a beaut in my book so I got a nice little Wilson trailer so they fixed up my Wilson trailer Put a new top on it. Looking good in my book. Just love the straight pipes on this thing. Just hope I don't end up uh, knocking them off or bending them up with my uh, 
augers. Ended up getting the lights to work on my trailer. That was the reason why I brought it in. I just hate electrical work. Can't stand it, so I ended up bringing it in. They fixed all my trailer lights, fixed all the connections, so now it's all my lights are working, and I ended up coming home with a brand new truck, which is just in time because I have a big contract that's due out. So I have to do a lot of hauling. So at least now I, I'll be able to enjoy it in my new uh, Kenworth. All right, so we're gonna get in here. So we actually have another uh, purchase I need to make. So to help uh, basically move around some of the, or move the stuff around the whole uh, place there I ended up buying an old bulldozer so this bulldozer has seen its day but you know it's almost perfect to have on the farm do odds and ends definitely can't afford a new one anyways so I'm gonna go pick up a trailer from uh, Jim's place so I'm gonna borrow a trailer from him so I can pick up this bulldozer hopefully and uh, bring it back here and hopefully my wife is about done unpacking the house so I can start uh, tearing it down all right so I hooked up to the trailer over here at Jim so he ended up purchasing a new low boy trailer uh, this should work good to pick up that uh, my new item I don't know why Jim left his uh, harvester outside but at least he brought everything back to the farmyard here so we don't have to deal with them stupid vandals hopefully they don't want to come all the way over here to steal his stuff but we will get to this uh, farmyard so I just purchased it off of another person that recently just got the thing running so it's been sitting rusting in his yard for a while and he's been trying to get it run and now it's finally running so uh, thanks to all his good work now I'm gonna pick it up I only paid uh, what was it 15,000 for it so I think I got a pretty good deal in my opinion I think I got a pretty good deal uh, I think I'm gonna have to back up into his yard here pretty uh there's not a lot of room to turn around gotta back up all the way up into his yard here hate when you have to do this i'm not good at uh backing up semis let's just say that so we got the ramp pulled down so hopefully this thing is wide enough now this thing is an old junker here but you know what it's a working junker so I like it so it should uh, go right through the house for me nice and easy love how this thing sounds first sounds like a lawnmower starts up there we go so it starts up nicely for an old farting thing all right turn down that old junker I'm gonna have to remember to grease this thing up I mean you talk about some rust there's a little bit of rust on this thing I'm gonna get these ramps folded in and get my chains out here and chain this thing down and start heading home be nice and careful out of his driveway it's a little bouncy we're gonna get this thing home and then I gotta clear out my garage clear out a few things and then we should be ready to bodoze. Sure hope this rain stops so I don't make a muddy mess when I start uh, tearing this down. Just barely fits in my uh, old uh, gate here. All right, we're back home. We'll get that unloaded. Uh, I have a few things to uh, get out so I'm gonna have to move all the vehicles. I'm gonna have to clear out this garage 
so much things on the to-do list. Look at all this stuff I have to move. And I should have got a... Should have probably picked up Jim's uh, trailer. Put all this stuff in so we could uh, move into the other house. Alright, so I did end up borrowing Jim's uh, trailer here so I can put all my uh, precious tools, all my junk here in the garage. You know, you gotta bring your trash when you're starting to bulldoze your house. That's the most important thing. And your garden hose. Don't want to forget that. Just joking. But we're gonna get all this and probably some furniture in our the trailer here and then I can just lock it up and then while we're staying at the motel when our other uh, house is being built I don't have to deal with uh, the issues I gotta make sure I bring my barbecue grill too well, yeah actually I might take that to the motel put it right outside the door that's classy isn't it we'll get all this cleared out here quickly and uh Got to move my Honda too, and then we'll start bodozing this thing. Yep, that's right. I forgot to move. I have to move my uh, lawn art here. Gonna have to pull that out of the way. All right, so we got almost everything uh, basically moved and uh, out of the way. So now it is time to do a little bodozing. Oh, I forgot my grill. I need to move that quickly. Uh, so basically the foundation of this house is breaking away uh it's just sinking so it's not worth uh really repairing so uh, my wife has always wanted a rancher she doesn't like two stories so the goal is basically to tear this down and hopefully build a nice little rancher that i'm hoping everything works out she picked up picked out kind of a pre-built rancher style house so I basically just have to tear this thing down this is gonna be costly all right I took old glory down so I wanted to make sure I didn't ruin that flag so, uh, yeah I think we're about ready so I'm gonna unload this bulldozer here quickly and then uh, start bulldozing you know the moments in life that you just almost kind of dread doing but almost kind of fun like who gets to drive a bulldozer through their house i mean this shouldn't be that bad of a experience don't you think i'm just gonna bulldoze my garage in here quickly let's see how it goes up oh, up oh. looks like i'm gonna have to get a run and start at it of course uh i I'm gonna bodoze all my uh, wife's dead plants in with this uh, big old dump, but we're gonna. But before we start that, I need to build a hole back here so I can push everything in. So I'm just gonna basically clear out a nice big hole over here. Yeah, I'm just driving through my wife's garden. No big deal. Not a big deal. All right. So we're just going to lower the blade here and uh, start uh, building a hole. Oh, 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 you're going to have to be stronger than that old bulldozer. God, there we go. Uh, I think I'm almost, uh, hopefully, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get out of this hole once I uh, keep digging it. Because i got to get it pretty deep to get all that uh, big house pushed in over here. I'll keep going at this and see you in a little bit. Yeah, got to push that all up. Uh, I think I might have an issue. Because, uh, I didn't really plan on, uh, moving the bulldozer out of this. Oh, man. Am I in a predicament now? How am I going to get this bulldozer out of my giant hole decided to do dig here? You think this thing could go up that uh, big steep hill? Let's try it. Uh, uh, nope. Well, it actually made it out of that thing. I was a little bit worried. So now we got a pit to basically bury my old house in. 
I know, usually you would just tear this down and uh, put it and salvage as much lumber as you possibly can, but uh, for this purposes, I'm just gonna bulldoze my house into a pit. You guys will just have to forgive me. First thing that's gonna go is this chicken coop. Don't wanna hear my rooster in the morning. Who wants to hear a rooster every morning? All right, so uh, basically everything's gone except this little patio set right here. Uh, the wife wanted to keep her garden, so it's still here. Uh, I don't know why all this chicken stuff is still here. I bodoze that down and it just came all back. I don't I don't know why that stuff's here, but I'll have to figure that out later. But we got this whole cleared out here. Nice little area. So I think we're going to level this out here nicely and then uh, start building. So I'll get up in the sky and be God for a little while and uh, start building this place. So you might notice the farm is just how it used to be that is correct so I'm gonna let you all know that that was a 
huge fail on my part. So I got the house all taken out, basically, with Giant's Editor. And uh, the house is in pieces, which I'm kind of surprised. I don't know why he just didn't make one house. But the house is like a million separate pieces. So it takes a while to get it out of Giant's Editor. Uh, and then I got all the chicken coop, all this stuff. So I was going to basically redesign the whole map or the whole farmyard and basically keep only but this patio here and uh, build a house around. But so I don't something in this uh, XML and I can't find out where. And I think that's what I ruined it by is it shows that you have a house built even though you don't have a placeable anywhere on this map this map this house comes with the map uh, it doesn't let you place another one so I changed around the XML well I think that's something I did screwed up the game so I had to go in my backup folder if you guys don't know uh, Giants is nice enough for us to make a backup folder so if you ever corrupt your game you can always go and pull it from a backup folder so you should never get to a point where you're just totally lost in a mod conflict or something destroys your game uh, basically all you have to do is go into the backup folder sorry so all you have to do is basically go into your backup folders so if you click on uh, basically your farming simulator 19 map just like you put in a mod you just go a little bit farther down than the mod folder and you'll see uh, save game backup folders go into that go into the number of your save game and then it goes by time so usually if you corrupt your game or whatever you want to go probably when you first start your game up so click that folder uh, select all copy and then go back into where your save game is and uh, click that and uh, paste that all in there and basically you can uncorrupt your game which I had to do which I had to do multiple times to find the right time because I really screwed up my game so I, I just wanted something new and to build a ha my wife a new house and everything so they have this nice new rancher house built up but apparently I screwed something up in my game so uh, I probably tried with air multiple times for at least five hours yep that's five hours I'll never get back but I wanted to just put this video out to know that you can uh, try something new you could try a new technique you could try a new way of playing this game and if you fail don't be discouraged by it because we all fail trust me I fail a lot at this game most of it I hide from you uh, I'm not an expert by any means I just trial and error and then I try to figure stuff out and I am horrible at scripting so wish I was better at that but uh, I decided just to put this video out anyways because you know what sometimes we fail in life and we just have to step up and keep going uh, thank goodness that this uh, house is still here so miraculously I played God and boo there it is again uh, Buck is happy he's uh, in his home you can see him running around but Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later. Here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.